Lindsay. Even though I might be the most indecisive person on earth, asking you to marry me was the easiest decision I've ever made. You radiate beauty and have a gentle soul. You're smart, passionate, kind, funny, and the most caring person I know. You've embraced me for who I am, and I can honestly say that you've helped shape me into the man I am today. I promise to love you forever and strive to be the best husband I can be. I promise to always be trustworthy and faithful. I promise to always be by your side and endure difficult moments together with you. Even now, as we stand in front of all of our family and friends, watching us awkwardly display our feelings for each other, just know that I'm here for you. <laughs> I promise to always pick you up when you fall. I also mean that literally, since you're extremely clumsy. And you know I'll always try to make you laugh, no matter your mood. We spent over a decade together making memories I'll never forget, and I'm excited that we get to continue this journey together as husband and wife. I love you. <laughs> there are oceans between us, the voice feels like home. Pulls me back to her When the morning's upon us We're intertwined as one She makes heaven of everything I believe Spencer, in the significant length of time we've loved each other You have been the ultimate best friend, lover, and partner I've had the pleasure of seeing you grow into the kind, committed man you are today even better, I've had the honor of being granted your humor, your genuine nature, and your love through all my flaws. I know I can trust you to be the guiding light of our household and amazing father to our children. I promise to dedicate myself to providing you with gratitude, affection, and sometimes a little attitude. <laughs> I can guarantee our lives will be full of fun and laughter. And more than anything, I vow that marrying you will be the easiest decision of my life. <laughs> oh, I believe that angels come around here. Proud of us, they by the state of Florida. I now pronounce you as husband and wife, and I kiss your bride. When Lindsay and I first met, we absolutely hated each other. Anytime we found ourselves in the same space, we would glare at each other from across the room. All over a boy, who in reality was no good for either of us. One day, after it was all over, sitting on the floor of our high school, we bonded. And now, 11 years later, we are best friends. Whether you're familiar with me or not, the most important thing to introduce is that I have been honored to be part of Lindsay and Spencer's journey from the very start. From the first moment she shared that she had found someone special through all of the friendships, the parties, the jobs, the hormones, 
to this day, one we all knew was coming. Spencer and Lindsay are a perfect pair, and it's just seriously warms my heart to see a couple so amazing in love. They complement each other in every way and radiate joy when they're together. Lastly, Spencer, I can't tell you how proud I am of you and this person you've become. I honestly love you, buddy. Everybody, please join me in raising our glasses to a lifetime of happiness for Spencer and Lindsay. Cheers, guys, and endless love for the happy couple. First off, we'd like to welcome all family and friends uh, to sharing this wonderful and exciting new start for Lindsay and Spencer. I can't believe this day is finally here. It's been over 11 years since these two. I remember Spencer coming over and sitting on the driveway with Lindsay and doing some chit-chatting. Uh, looks like paying them off worked, and it's non-refundable. <laughs> we couldn't be more proud of uh, the adults these two have become. Uh, we all knew this day was in their future. Uh, we love you both. Uh, Spencer, we're honored to finally call you son-in-law. Uh, let's all raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Bird. A lifetime of happiness and good health. Is it the look in your eyes? 